At Crooked Creek Farm Dairy on the northern edge of Romeo, there's an actual small aircraft runway. People fly in to get their homespun ice cream and their dairy products. This is the last generation that'll be on this land. The small farm becoming something of a dinosaur, and then it'll become something else. But even in these final years of loving and living the farm life, it has gotten incredibly difficult. <coughs> It's noon, and that means it's milking time at Crooked Creek Farm Dairy. Michigan ranks fifth in the nation for milk production. This small farm produces about 600 gallons of milk a day. The milk is processed, jugged up, and sold direct to consumers in the small farm dairy store, as well as independent and chain grocery stores throughout Metro Detroit. As part of a co-op program, surplus milk is sold and carted away in a tanker. The female cows have babies and become milk cows. The males or steers grow up to become meat. And absolutely everything is done on this farm, from growing the food that feeds the food, to birthing, raising, milking, and selling to slaughter. And absolutely every step of the way, the word fuel is, this year, is used. Profit and loss. And then down here you can see fuel is already up 61.4%. Dory Hill is the farm co-owner and bookkeeper. It looks like it's going to be about $23,000 more just for this small operation, just in fuel. Greg and Dory have worked this farm together for more than 40 years. We don't have mortgages. We're, our farm is paid for, and it's going to be a struggle. In the March 2022 issue of the Farm Journal, page after page, you get a snapshot of how the world's farmers are connected and the domino effect when farming starts to fall. As Putin cuts off displaced civilians in Ukraine from food, the world's hunger numbers will grow exponentially. 70% of Ukraine's land is used to feed the world. It provides 18% of the globe's barley, 16% of the world's corn, 12% of the planet's wheat. You can see how inflation affects every farm operation. And you can see the farmers who say, I'm done. Well, there's already farmers that have uh, retired, being that this is coming. Mm -hmm. So, and there's going to be, after this year, with the added expense and everything, I would say there's going to be a lot less. It creates a vicious supply and demand maze that leaps off the pages of statistics and lands right here at the intersection of Eberling and Brown Roads in northern Macomb. The hills will eat because they grow their own food. Bills will get paid because they're still selling milk. This year, they say, however, they will not make any profit. They will be lucky if they break even. They may even sink into the red, yet they say their biggest struggle is keeping prices low enough for their customers to be able to afford what they're selling. I see a lot of people coming in here that can't afford milk. And sometimes it's really hard to put the price up and then watch them come in and have to pay it. Oh yeah, the fuel prices and the cost of fertilizer going up. I feel sorry for the farmers that just really so. We're watching the higher prices, so we're not buying quite as much. We're it's more selective in what we do buy, you know, the yeah. brands and things. Everything is compounding for the farmers, big time. Fertilizer up, uh, what, four times, three times, four times the price. So crops are going to be a lot less this year. And, but they still got to make the same amount of trips over the field, which is going to use the same amount of fuel, but they won't have the fertilizer on it to make the same amount of food. The Hills have imposed small fuel surcharges to help cover their costs. $3 per delivery, an extra 25 cents per jug of milk to cover the price increase of the containers. But they haven't increased their prices to address their total costs. Because while they know they will survive, they say they're afraid for others. 